The way SketchUp works is by you drawing shapes and then extruding them, pulling them up or pulling them out to turn them from flat shapes into three-dimensional objects. So I'm going to start by getting rid of her and I can start by drawing my first shape and I can pick the pencil and I can draw a line going that way and then a line going down there and a line going there. Now when the line is joined and complete I get a dark grey colour. That's telling me that's now a complete line. So for instance I now draw with this tool which is like the pencil tool Okay, I can keep going forever and it doesn't turn grey so I cross the lines and let go. If I draw a line like that it doesn't go grey I cross the lines it does change because now it recognizes being a complete line all the way around so the shape has got to be complete the line has got to be continuous all the way around okay if there's anything I don't like I can use the rubber so I don't like those little bits of tail sticking off there I can get rid of those and do that one and inside here I can do the same okay and I can't really see what, what's gone on here very well so this is what I need two other tools one of the tools is the hand the hand allows me to move everything around to the side and move it up and down and have a good look what's going on the zoom tool allows me to zoom in and zoom out it zooms out in and out on whatever the magnifying glass is over so put it over that one it zooms over that shape put it over this one it zooms in on that shape and the last one that's useful is the rotate tool and that allows me just to rotate things around and see where they are in the world so I can rotate those around okay. so I've now got three shapes I now can see if I rotate them that they have no thickness at all they're perfectly thin and flat they're just flat shapes and now I want to turn those into three dimensional shapes and that's using this tool here okay. I click on that and bring it over any shape that can be pulled up it changes and has a dotted pattern on the surface and I can pull that one upwards or I can pull them downwards or upwards okay so it's simply if I go edit undo I hover over it if it goes dotty I hold my mouse down click down my left mouse button drag it up till it's high enough and then let go and those aren't just drawings. If I use my rotate tool, I can see that I've actually created fully three-dimensional objects. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can move them right around, and I can see that the two of these went up and that the triangle went down. So by drawing shapes, which I can draw with lines or with a curly line, I can then extrude them up.